pulmonary fibrosis is a form of scarring of the lung, which makes it harder to take in oxygen. And according to Breathing Matters, there are around 5,000 new cases of the disease every year in the UK. The Pulmonary Fibrosis Trust aims to provide personal support to people with the life-limiting illness. And one local lady has been raising awareness by putting on a special event. I became an ambassador when I lost my uncle back in 2014. Um, the pulmonary fibrosis basically helps people that live with the lung disease. It's a terminal um, lung disease that there's no cure for. So what we do is, is that we help the patients' lives a little bit easier when they can't afford stair lifts, they can't afford scooters, wheelchairs, things like that, just to, so they can still move about and try and enjoy their life as much as possible. Uh, we also provide emotional support, so we have a phone number, so if you wanted any advice, you can speak to somebody who will help you, talk to you more about the disease, um, because there doesn't seem to be a lot of that out there. My uncle Pip, who passed away, he loved this park, he loved, he loved being outside. And when he passed away, we was going to have his funeral here, but it was in October, so it's a bit risky. So we said we should do something in the summer. So it's like, well, we do a picnic in the park. So everyone can bring a picnic, we'll have live music, because he loved music as well. He was a very talented music, musician. Um, so it's just everything about him, about what he loved. And I was only going to do it for one year, but because it was that successful, we've kind of made it a tradition every year, and it seems to be getting bigger and bigger. A number of charity groups came down to the park to do their bit, including Gould Tesco, who were giving away water and fruit to promote healthy living and raise money for the cause. Um, so this year we decided that we would get involved and we would raise the money to help the pay for the park. We're also here today to, um, to tell everybody about the wonderful things Tesco's do for the local community um, that people don't seem to realise we do do. Our uh, partner charities are um, British Heart Foundation, Diabetes UK and Cancer Research and through those um, charities we hope to promote healthy eating for healthy living. So today we're giving away free fruits, not to, just to the children, we give free fruits to the children in school but we'd like to give it to everybody here today and free water. Hundreds of people went down to show their support and have their own picnic in the park. I came, last, I came down last year, it was a good day. It still is, in memory of him. I think it's very important because obviously it shows the community spirit in Gull, it shows that everyone's helping each other because they do look out for each other. I think in this day and age it can be easily looked over, so it's nice to see local societies, local groups helping each other and coming together. Cause... Twenty eighteen marks the fourth year the event has taken place and with the huge amount of engagement received from the local community, the trust is one step closer to providing emotional and financial support to those in need. Rebecca Quarmby, that's TV.